friends, Lee Brown here. Welcome back to my kitchen, my rules. And yes, it's kind of a hot glory mess here, but I have to make something different today. And before I tell y'all what we're fixing, just go ahead and do step one, put that oven at 350. What we're gonna make is a low sugar breakfast snack thing because I had a request from a friend who's got diabetes in the house to have something low sugar. And so what does a Dixie Crystals girl do? Well, I reached out to Dixie Crystals and I said, hey friends, what y'all got? I mean, as a sugar company that doesn't have sugar in it. And so this is not sugar free, but it is low sugar. So I guess if you're mildly diabetic, this would work. But if you're like seriously messed up with your insulin, please don't eat this. So anyway, it's gonna be actually a pretty healthy snack. You can eat this as a well snack or as breakfast or a quick lunch. If you're a realtor like this girl, you're probably used to eating stale goldfish out of the bottom of your car or some granola bars, and this is far healthier. And uh, after a long day, you need to have something with mixed nuts. And it's, frankly, Dixie Crystals, I gotta tell you, I like any recipe that says, you know, use raw almonds, seeds, nuts, whatever you want to use is fine, all right? So we have some crushed almonds it is one thing that we have available. They were raw. You need about a half a cup of these or however many more you had in the house. And while the oven is heating up too, let's get our cookie sheet ready. So listen, y'all, I got the new Wilton Navy and Gold collection. And I said, why do I need the Wilton Navy and Gold collection? Well, apparently there's diamonds in it. And so if for Valentine's Day, you were expecting a Tiffany's blue box and did not get one, buy yourself some Wilton Navy blue and it's got diamonds in it. And apparently this is something that can be used with metal utensils and you really can't screw it up i'll try but you're not supposed to wash it with dishwashing detergent in the machine you're supposed to hand wash it so just full disclosure i'm gonna take care of it because it feels good it's nice and heavy it's got a good lip on it so anyway i've got my parchment paper and if y'all missed my earlier episode that we talked about the beauties of parchment paper you should go back and watch some of the episodes on this channel i've got lots of things lots of moderately unhealthy and very unhealthy things. And there was one recipe with quinoa, just for the record. Okay, so we got our parchment paper ready. We got our stove going here. Now you need some old fashioned oats. Listen, do not use the quick oats. They're different than the rolled oats, the old fashioned ones. So please read your containers, friends. And then of course, y'all know the secret too. Read your ingredients. Make sure they didn't sneak any sugar up in here because if it ain't Dixie Crystals, I don't want it. So we need a cup of these. So let's get a cup and one and two in our mixing bowl. And see, so you're gonna see that and start thinking about oatmeal raisin cookies, but we are not making them because they are not chocolate chip cookies, no matter what people tell you. Then you need some flour. Now this recipe called for some sprouted whole wheat stuff, which sounded kind of like hippie food, but I eat white lily flour. So maybe this is not as healthy as intended, but you know, it's my kitchen, my rules, friends. We need a half a cup of flour and so I guess if you want to use wheat then you do you but I'm going to use my white lily because it's ridiculous I don't know why it's lighter than everything else but I gotta tell y'all I was fixing a recipe the other night and I had to use King Arthur don't even ask me why it was in my house and I know it's very good for sourdough starter but side by side uh -uh, white lily is so much lighter and lighter it's beautiful so anyway just so you know and then you also need some cinnamon and I've got this savory spice, which is our local spice store. And you're supposed to put a teaspoon and a half, which means I'm gonna put in as much as I want because cinnamon is good for you. It's got like antioxidants or something, I don't know, but don't do that cinnamon challenge on YouTube. That is a bad, bad thing. And the young people get sick. And now I'm gonna to have to recycle that container because we used enough cinnamon to use it up. Woo! Now I forgot as usual to get my utensil, but because I moved my camera for y'all's purposes, I'm so close to two cameras. That might be the next time y'all wander back on the channel. So if you're enjoying the commentary so far, mash the like button and you can come back when I figure out how to make my own studio kitchen out of an iPhone. Okay, so now I've got that going on over here, ready to roll. Now we're gonna get us a second bowl because this is a two bowl work. And you know, for good baking purposes, you separate the dry ingredients from your wet just to make it easier. Now we need one egg which apparently the egg is optional, but I believe I need the protein. So we just gonna have the egg. This has one egg if using. I reckon sometime I might fix it without it. That will be when I'm out of eggs, right? All right. 
Okay, so there's our one egg. Got it all over my hands, of course, but no, no shell in here. Oh, I know y'all like to look at what I'm doing. Let me move my stuff out of the way. Okay, now y'all can see better. There. Now, okay, now we need some applesauce. And as y'all know, applesauce is like your king surprise ingredient in a lot of stuff. And this we need a cup of unsweetened applesauce. Remember, check your labels and make sure it's not got sneaky sugar in there. So there's a cup of that. If I weren't running a camera, I would lick the rest right out of that container because I love applesauce. I like homemade the best, but I don't have any right now. So that's how we roll. Then you need some vanilla extract and we've got a teaspoon and so are that. This is the Morton and Bassett spices, which I reckon is a fancy kind. They're from California and it says there's gluten-free. It's not irradiated. I don't know how vanilla gets radiant, but all right. Then we need some salt and we need a tea, half a teaspoon of salt. And as y'all know, I learned from Justin Wilson, the Cajun cook, how to murder it. That's a half a teaspoon. Y'all want me to prove it? Look, I know y'all love it when I do this. Pour it right in here. And look at this. Look, 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 look. Ta-da! With a wee tiny bit extra. But look, that's a half a teaspoon just under the lip. See? Told y'all I can do things besides sell houses. Measuring sugar, I mean, and salt. That's totally gonna go on my next LinkedIn job things. We need two tablespoons of oil. So one, two is about right. I think I missed by a wee tiny bit. There we go. I'm using Harris Teeter brand vegetable oil because that's what was in the cupboard. And then what else did we need? Sugar. Oh, we need our sugar. We got our Dixie crystals over here. We've got dark sugar, dark brown, and we need four tablespoons so let's see, I'm gonna have to move my camera. So look, y'all get to travel around Lee Brown's kitchen. I know you're so excited about that, I know. All right, so did you know that DC Crystals makes dark brown, light brown, powdered sugar, white sugar? They are all purpose, but that is the wrong size. I need tablespoons. So I'm about to clean this drawer out. I reckon spring cleaning is gonna be a good time around here, but I can also use the winter storm to clean it. And there we have one and a two. And a three and a four. Now, what y'all should know is that if you have brown sugar in the cupboard and for whatever reason it has gotten hard as a rock, you can put a piece of white bread in it to soften it back up and put it in the microwave. There's tons of ways to fix your sugar if it gets hard in the container. And I also want to prove to y'all that I know I'm a family friendly show because you should notice right now that I did not make a tacky joke. So somebody give me a high five in the comments and give me an extra subscribe or a like here if you're appreciative that Lee Brown did not make a tacky joke about the extra hard dark brown sugar. Okay, so that's our ingredients. Now, we're gonna toss in our dry ingredients. Oh, look, see, uh, how do I do this where y'all can look at it? Here we go. Oh, look, yes, easy, 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 y'all. This is gonna be so much easier than buying that store-bought processed stuff. And as a runner, I do like to have some little goodies like this around just so I don't have to eat processed stuff and I can stay away from bagels, which I enjoy very much, but they're pretty much just a carb fest. All right, so we've got that mixed in pretty good there. And now we're gonna add in some raisins and I've got the golden raisins from Sunmade because that's what I have. I was making some treatment for my arthritis. I need to make that video so y'all can look at it. And we need, let's see, a half a cup, a cup of raisins. Well, that looks like about this many. Okay. And if you're not familiar with Lee Brown, hello, welcome to my kitchen, my rules, where I kind of make stuff up as I go. Although usually if I'm baking, I actually measure, but this doesn't feel like a normal recipe to be quite honest. So I'm just going to kind of make it up. Although it's a little wet, I'm going to have to add in some flour. And then we're going to add our nuts. Let's see. And y'all get to enjoy the journey with me because I've not made this one before, but I've made similar things. But again, you know, taking care of my friends and my viewers, see, there's something you need me to make. You're going to have to make your request. I did have someone ask if I would please make some chicken pot pie. So if you subscribe, you will see that coming along here shortly. And it's really good. And if you want to know how good it is, you should know that I make amazing chicken dumplings and that recipe is on the channel too. And so I'm just going to tell you, if somebody can make dumplings, they can probably make a mean pot pie. And when winter is upon us, you need some comfort food. And when winter is not upon us, you need comfort food. All right. So there we go. Now we've got a better 
consistency going here. This is kind of the fun, y'all, of trying a brand new recipe. Let's see, you gotta scoop it into a mound. That's not gonna hold as a mound in its current condition. So I think we shall add a little more flour. These might wind up being a hot mess. And so I'm pretty sure that y'all should click like right now if you are planning to stick around and watch the final product and see what exactly Lee Brown has come up with. And if DixieCrystals.com is going to say, please don't ever make anything from our website ever again, Lee Brown, although they're not going to say that because Dixie Crystals loves me like I love them, right? Right? Okay, so anyway, and if you want a coupon, you should probably put in the comments, I love Dixie Crystals and we will hook you up, friends, because those nice people sent me a bunch of coupons for a five pound bag of sugar. And if you live in the Southeast, you already know how good Dixie Crystals is. And if you live elsewhere, you'd like to find out. All right. That looks like it's going to hold up. All right, friends. Next step, we are going to get a spoon, which I did not plan ahead for. So I'm off camera. So y'all get very nervous when I'm off camera. I love my regular viewers who are intrigued by the way that I wander around my kitchen. So here's what we're going to do. Take us a nice kitchen size spoonful and plop it right here on the baking sheet. Shazam, this is gonna make two cookie sheets full. I am fairly confident. So let me just make my little mounds here. And then after we fill up this cookie sheet, we're gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees for apparently nine to 10 minutes. And then we will pull it out and put it on a wire rack. So I think that right now is a good time for y'all to click the like button, leave me a comment and say, Lee Brown, I'm very nervous. But let's see what the final product looks like, and I'll see y'all back here in just a quick break. No joke, y'all. These are so good. And look, they cook just right. Nine minutes, and I've got batch two in the oven, so it looks to me like it makes two dozen. Make these low sugar. Enjoy the heck out of it. Subscribe for more, and tell me what you want me to make next time.